But hello, um, sorry, uh, I just, did just do a tour on this, but uh, I didn't have it as display capture, window capture, so you didn't get to see my Gims Evo, or <laughs> not a lot pretty much. So I'm going to show you how to do UV mapping, I'm going to delete that, I'm going to go again. Um, basically, all I did was make a plane, pretty simple. Uh, I just changed it to one leg just for the purpose of the tutorial. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't make any difference. What you want to do, come on to here. Just change this floor or whatever you want to call it. You might want to you might want to define your floor by room and go from there. Entirely up to you. Uh, you click standard. Make sure you get your gims over material. Click the shaded. Uh, for this, I'm just going to do concrete. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to drag and drop that. Changes that. Which is perfect. That's what we want. Uh, also, don't forget to change this to an edible mesh. Very important that. But okay, now that's attached. Um, Click that, it comes up with what you names of the floor. Uh, so this is really good for keeping track, which is good. So you click this, so you click the little image, it gives you this little box. Um, click uh, diffuse texture, which now then comes up this little section. Uh, make sure you embed it so it embeds it when you export it. Uh, otherwise, if you don't click that, you have to add the uh, a file into your other files to tell it what material to pick and you need to upload your images and stuff like that for the texture it just removes one big pain in the, in the head pretty much um, anyway let's not stop rambling on let's go to texture again this one which is good uh, you can change it with this uh, I wouldn't advise to as it states clearly these values won't be stored in the model so when you export it it won't do nothing so even though you think it's good right now in 3ds max it won't be when you export it and stream it to your server which then becomes a problem i found out the hard way so here we are okay so you've got two models uh i'm gonna copy one throw this next to it uh let's just say we've got that there <coughs> okay you've got two rooms say there's a door there example let me just mark line them up so you get a better idea once, once uh, you understand how to do this, it's, it's very, very simple. You'll have no problems ever again. So, let me just move it over a little bit more. Just make sure it's bang on. So, on this tutorial, you understand. So, as you can see at the moment, it's all. Sort of all not uh, not aligned okay it's all it's all everywhere it's too big it doesn't line up for each other tile it's a, it's a problem quick easy fix what you want to do is attach it to this one okay now you've attached it it's still shit that's fine not a problem uh, there's two ways you can do it you can uh, go to modify list go into UV map now it lines it real world map size uh, nine times out of ten it'll work and it aligns it all up perfect okay that's done simple as uh, another way to do it which is entirely up to you if you want to do it that way but, I mean that is probably the most easiest way to do it sometimes everything doesn't quite line up so you want to go to your unwrap UV okay uh, which this means you can now manually edit any face you can do any 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 one you want. Obviously, I'll stick to this as one by one. If you've got four by four, this will be like a four 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 squares practically. Um, but you can edit them individually, so it can line up. It's it's it's, it's a nifty little tool. Um, obviously, for this purpose, I'm just going to show you the other way to do it. So you select your polygons cube. You don't have to worry about doing this as long as you select this. Sometimes I'll, I'll do click this just to get the little play with it. And now what you can do, simple as, is just use your move, move tool, which is basically moves the material, which is really good. You can rotate it, which is really good. It's really handy. Or you can rescale it. Okay, but because you've attached them, they'll work together, which is beautiful all right um, other than that 
that's pretty much it. Make sure as well, when you're done with it, you select it and you collapse too, okay? Otherwise, it, it, it you can cause all kinds of problems if you accidentally delete it. If you delete it, it just resets everything. But um, that is that is it. It is very very easy. Um, it's basic, but I noticed there was a lot of people requesting it, so there it is. Uh, any questions? Uh, message me on my Discord or in the comments and I'll try and help as much as I can. Um, thanks for watching and good luck in your interiors.